How to install macOS Ventura on VirtualBox on Windows. If you want to install macOS Ventura on VirtualBox, then in this video, we will show you the steps to install macOS Ventura on VirtualBox. First, download required files. Second, installing VirtualBox and extension pack. Third, creating a new virtual machine and configuring the VM settings. Fourth, run VirtualBox code to the command prompt. Fifth, start the virtual machine and perform a clean installation of macOS Ventura. Download links on video description and watch the full video for how to. Let's start. First, we need to install VirtualBox on Windows. Go to the VirtualBox website and link in the video description. Download the latest version of the VirtualBox. Also, download VirtualBox Extension Pack. Navigate the folder where you have downloaded your VirtualBox and double-click on the downloaded VirtualBox file to install it. Click on the Next button to continue. Click Next. Click Yes. Click Yes. Then click the Install button. Click Finish and start the VirtualBox after installation. Next step. You have to install the VirtualBox Extension Pack. Click on the Tools menu. Then select Extensions. Click on the plus icon to add the extension. Select the VirtualBox extension which you downloaded at the beginning of this video. And then the Install button. Click Agree. OK, go back to Welcome screen. The next step is to create a new virtual machine and customize it. Click New. Enter a name for new virtual machine. Destination folder for new virtual machine. Select your macOS Ventura ISO image. Type in version, macOS X 64-bit. Click Next. Set the RAM size to at least 8 GB. Set the virtual CPU count to at least 4 according to your main computer CPU. Click Next. Maximize the size of the hard disk to 100 GB. Click Next. Finally, click Finish. After creating a virtual machine, the next step is to customize the setting of the created machine to make it ready for installation. To edit the settings, select the created macOS Ventura virtual machine and click on Settings. Go to the display menu, then increase the video memory up to 128 megabytes. Go to USB and select USB 3.0. Finally, click the OK button to close. Once you've created and customized your virtual machine, it's time to run some codes to install macOS on VirtualBox. Close the VirtualBox to apply the code to the command prompt. First, you should change the VM name with your virtual machine name. We have added codes to the video description. Open the command prompt. Then copy and paste the codes to the command prompt. Close CMD. Everything was done till here and VirtualBox with the new virtual machine is ready to install macOS Ventura. So let's start the virtual machine. Open your VirtualBox again and press start.
Please wait a moment until some line of codes and the Apple logo is gone. Select a language. Here, choose Disk Utility. Select the hard drive. Click on Erase. Enter a name. And then erase it. After configuring the partition, close the disk utility. You are once again on the macOS recovery window, select Install macOS Ventura. Choose Continue. Choose Continue. Click on Agree. Once again Agree. Select the drive and choose Continue. Now, wait patiently. It will take a good 40 to 60 minutes, depending on the speed of your PC or laptop. Now, set up up your macOS Ventura for the first time. Select your preferred look, light, dark, or auto. Click Continue. Finally, macOS Ventura is successfully installed on VirtualBox. That's it. This is how you can install and run macOS Ventura on VirtualBox on a Windows 10 or 11 PC or laptop. I hope this helps you. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It motivates us to create more helpful videos for you. Thank you.